What's up, Carter's Life? We are really stepping things up here, guys. If you guys can't tell, we are still at the new Team Raw house. And we have the boat. Eight months ago, Lizzie surprised me with my dream boat. We've done some crazy things with this boat, including sticking it on the back of the limo and driving it all the way to Unspeakable's Island House. There, we finally were able to use it and drive it around the water and even across the sand. But since then, it's just been sitting in the driveway. And now today, I finally get to live my dream with my dream boat where I can load it into the water here in my own private lake. So we're loading it up on the truck. We're gonna put gas in there and we are going to be uh, getting this in the lake for the very first time ever. And we're gonna see how it does. I'm a little bit worried. It's a little bit bigger than a jet ski. It's a lot more powerful. 300 horsepower turbo charge is crazy. I'm a little nervous about putting this in the water and seeing what it does. It's also really fast. And I'm a little bit worried about other people driving it too. So we'll see if we get that far. Everyone's gonna wanna drive it because it's so fun but it's literally the same amount of driving experience as a Ferrari. Like, it's not a boat, it's not a jet ski. It's basically a water Ferrari. Here we go, guys. Got the big rig pulling the little boat. And uh, Matt says the boat actually hits this light. Oh, wait, we're good. Inches, guys. Only that little white nub would hit. But we are good. <sighs> All righty. So we're gonna go fill this up with gas and then drop it into the lake. Okay, well that was, didn't go as far as I thought on that. It's a beautiful day, partly cloudy skies, nice and warm, it's still full blown summer down here. I know a lot of you guys are probably back to school already, but out here at the new Team Raw house, guys, summer, it's honestly just getting started. Well, okay, fine, that's not true. But I feel like it's gonna be warm summer weather here for, I think until at least late October, if not even some early days in November. We'll see, it's a new house, it's a new place, we'll see how it goes, but right now the weather is literally perfect. We are at the gas station. We gotta fill the boat up. All right, three, two, one. Whoa. Oh, a double! Woo. Yeah, Whoa. I didn't know you were gonna do a double. Bailey broke the dock. No, it's already rotting. No, it's not. You pulled it off. Oh, you broke two of them. No, I didn't even pull that one. Oh, yo, this whole thing just got busted up. All right, well, we know which one we're gonna just take out for the jet ski dock then. Say so you wanna pull the other one so we can climb out? No. <laughs> okay. This one got pulled too. I mean, it needs work, but you know, I don't need to break it all. He's doing half the work for you. He's doing the uh, demo. The demo, yeah. <laughs> and then you just have to get the renovation done. What was that? Yeah, no, that cool. is an alien. Guys, what is that thing? Bro, I kind of want to pick it up, but... It could be poisonous. I've never seen it. I have an app. No, you don't. Yeah. Shut up. We're gonna. Matt does not have an app. So we're gonna scan this caterpillar. It's gonna say it's from a different planet. It's from like Mercury or Venus. Dude, that thing is for sure from Venus. It's a white, white mark tussock moth. Oh, it's a moth. Well, well it could it's gonna turn into a moth. So it's not poisonous. I mean, I, we don't know that yet. Dude, why would it look like that? I think we might have discovered a new species. So can I pick it up? All right, guys, we're dropping it in. Well, the tires are gonna sink or no? That's good. Now, the thing is, will Carter be able to successfully get this boat off this, whatever you call it, trailer? Oh, yo, horse flies are already out trying to get me, y'all. I'm gonna have to run in a bit. Oh, he's out. Okay, we're in. We're in. We're in. Let's see if she'll start. Sheesh. Man, I'm All right, let's pull out, Matt. Oh. Trailer's out. Boat is in. Wait, Carter, I got an idea. Yo, this thing is so sick. You guys should come to the dock and hop on. All right. <laughs> Looks like we gotta get on the boat, guys. Why not? Oh my gosh, guys, he's already going so fast. Maxing out. Yep, there he goes. Yes, Matt. Oh boy. Literally sounds like the Lambo is riding across the lake or something. Millie! Is that a pond monster? So far, so good, guys. No sign of any like pond monster. I mean, there's fish and frogs and all kinds of stuff. I think some turtles too, but nothing uh, monstrous. Oh my. Woo! Millie wants to go jet skiing. Come here, Millie. Ready? I right, put her in. Good girl, baby. Oh, because she's like a little, she's like an alligator with her head sticking up. She did it. Nice and warm. She's like, that wasn't bad at all. She was a little worried about it. But she's like, hey, the water's so warm and so nice. I like it. You happy, Millie? She got it. Really? 
That's a lot of pine needles over the years. Definitely is a bit of a cleanup out here, but you know, nothing we can't handle. We love a project. Millie, there she goes! Woohoo! Millie girl! There she goes. Zoop, shoop, 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 shoop. She loves to run. She's going down the dock now. It's important to teach Millie how to swim, especially where to go, because she, if she were to fall in, she needs to know to go to the shore. Sometimes it's not always obvious when she's panicking out there. So we want to get her nice and comfortable. Millie, come here. All right, guys, she's doing it. Guys, she looks like a little alligator. Wait, Andrew, just let her go. Oh, she got it. <gasps> come here, Millie, you doing it. Good girl, baby. Good girl. Yes. You did it! All right, guys, she did it. Swim, swim lesson number one is a success. She's got to swim to the shore. Oh, good girl, baby. How was that? She wants to do it again. She wants to go again. She's so excited. So Panos and I are about to hop on this boat. This is my first time ever on this boat. I'm ready. I've never been on this thing. I've edited plenty of videos with the boat. Oh, it's coming in hot. Panos, you first. Oh, this little boat. It's a little harder with here. people, but let's rock it. Let's run it. Right. Matt's gonna be around here any second. This is your first time on here, right? Me too. Me too. So Me too. Me too. My Let's first go. time. Woo! Alright, This is so sick, bro. I love these seats. Oh, you guys ready for a ride? Woo! Ready for it. I don't even know what this I've only seen this on a trailer. <laughs> Guys, I'm having so much fun that I'm actually going to do a challenge. I'm gonna be seeing if I can stay on the water, jet skiing or on the boat for 24 hours straight. Wish me luck. so much fun but guys jet skiing is exhausting and i'm starting to get really tired and i accidentally fell off in the absolute worst spot in the entire lake yeah i think you're gonna have to just push your way out of there buddy <laughs> It's like riding a, a bicycle with one arm over like a mountain bike trail. So I kind of need both arms, so it's hard to vlog, but I'm gonna try something with Matt if he, uh, so we can pull this off. It's gonna be high skill level. All right, so it's really hard to vlog. Yeah. But I think we can get a really sick shot if we kind of cruise and you're riding right next to me. Okay. So I can selfie this way and you're on my right side. Okay. And then we just kind of go, we do like a big old lap around this part. Four hours was way longer than I thought it was gonna be, but I did make it about four to five hours, which isn't bad. But now we need to dry off because today is also Matt's birthday. Today is Matt's birthday, and his birthday wish was to drive the jet boat in this lake, and that's what he's doing, guys. Look at this. He is out there in the Team Rar jet boat. Look at him, like a monster. It's literally 300 horsepower. Oh my gosh, that's a mean grin on the front of that boat, guys. This thing is scary. If you guys are wondering what the driving experience is on that, I would compare it to the Aventador. It's like crazy. It's not even like a car. It feels like you're driving like a fighter jet. It doesn't feel like a boat. It doesn't feel like a jet ski. It feels like a fighter plane on the water. And it's so, it's honestly terrifying. And I have crashed it into a bridge pretty bad. I got really lucky that the boat didn't get damaged and nobody got hurt, but it could have gone really bad. So I've been trying to coach Matt on how to drive it based on everything that I've learned driving it in the past and so far he's doing really good. This is a huge lake, it's like 10 acres so there's a lot more room here than other places that we've driven it. So it's kind of the perfect grounds to kind of cruise around. I think he's coming through the channel right now, let's see, yep. Oh yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. He held that one, yeah. He is just having the time of his life out there. He's been dreaming of this ski for a long time, guys. Dude, that thing is just scary. I don't even know what to say. That boat scares me so much. It's so unsustainably fast. I mean, it's just a rocket ship. Carter, get Dior out. is getting on the boat. Get on. I don't need to get on that. You're gonna feel the weight now that you have three. The turns are heavier. So just be prepared for understeering. That's it, go, go, go. 